Recently, bank vault doors have become a bit of an obsession. In my last video, I created a box with a latching mechanism based on a bank vault door, and while I'm thrilled with the result and think it looks great, it's missing one thing, a lock. The moment I finished this project, I began work on a new design, and this time I wanted to incorporate a lock, just like an actual vault. After weeks of test prints, prototypes, and design changes, here's the final product. You can use the key to lock or unlock the box and spin the center handle to latch or unlatch it. This is a lot of fun to make and really satisfying when you actually turn the key. I'm going to show you how this goes together, but first let's go through the materials for the project. Everything is printed with PLA and includes metal dowels, M4 screws, threaded inserts, and a ball bearing for the biggest gear. The lock is designed for file cabinets, but it's a perfect size for this design. I ordered everything on Amazon, and there are links in the description for the actual products. There is a link to download the 3D files if you're crazy enough to actually build one of these for yourself. I designed everything in Fusion 360 and did my best to avoid support material. It's all held together with threaded inserts and screws which allowed me to assemble and disassemble this as many times as I needed to without damaging anything. Metal dowels are secured to the frame with JB Weld and serve as gear shafts. Their smoothness and rigidity helps the entire mechanism function smoothly with the added benefit of increased durability compared to 3D printed shafts which are prone to break along layer lines. Now, with the basics out of the way, it's time for an assembly montage. Alright, that's enough about bank vaults, at least for now. This took a tremendous amount of work, but I couldn't be happier with the results. If you made it this far, I'd love to hear any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comments, and if you like this video, it would make my day. I have a few more projects in the pipeline, so please subscribe if you'd like to see what's next. Thanks for watching.